Welcome, I'm Fred Dosovage, Vice President of Molecular Biology, and this is Gene Expressions. The hedgehog pathway was first discovered in fruit flies in the 1970s. Scientists found that specific changes or mutations to a gene caused the developing fruit fly to curl up and develop bristly hair-like features resembling a hedgehog. They named the gene in the pathway hedgehog. A similar signaling pathway was discovered in humans and the name carried over. Generally, the hedgehog pathway is activated during the early stage of life and is essential for the normal development of a growing embryo. It is involved in developing the right and left side of the body, forming certain tissues and organs, and ensuring that organs are correctly located in the body. At the cellular level, the hedgehog pathway communicates signal for cell growth and differentiation. Scientists at Genentech, including myself, have been studying the hedgehog pathway for more than 15 years. We were initially interested in the pathway because of the critical role it plays in human development and the potential implications for fields like neurobiology and cancer. However, early in the course of our research, we discovered that cells abnormally activate hedgehog signaling, which can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and possibly cancer. The hedgehog pathway is active in the early stage of life and becomes mostly inactive as we grow into adults. However, some cancers are believed to abnormally reactivate hedgehog pathway signaling to drive tumor growth and spread. Cancer cells are known to reactivate the hedgehog pathway in one of two ways. The first involves the overproduction and release of a protein that stimulates the hedgehog pathway to sustain surrounding cells that aid tumor survival or to drive tumor growth directly. At Genentech, in the 1990s, we discovered that cancer cells can activate the hedgehog pathway through a completely different mechanism. In this way, gene mutations within the cancer cell cause the pathway to always be on or active and lead to constant signaling that directly helps the tumor grow. This discovery spurred a new interest in the hedgehog pathway that has led scientists to a better understanding of the biology of cancer. My team has worked to apply our discovery of the hedgehog signaling reactivation in some cancers to target and inhibit this pathway. Our efforts toward discovering hedgehog pathway inhibitors were partly bolstered by quirk of science history. In the 1950s, Ranchers in Idaho discovered that sheep snacking on corn lilies gave birth to cyclopic lambs, lambs with a single eye. Later, scientists discovered that the naturally occurring chemical in the plant inhibited the hedgehog pathway in the developing lamb, consistent with its role in embryonic development. Our goal was to discover a molecule that had therapeutic potential against certain cancer. We were pushing the envelope in a way we thought about cancer because it was the first time that a pathway important for embryonic development was being targeted in an effort against cancer. Today, inhibiting this pathway has become a focus of cancer research, and investigational medicines against the hedgehog pathway are being studied in clinical trials. Every day at Genentech, we try to harness our understanding of biology to lead us to new discoveries and novel investigational medicine for serious and life-threatening diseases. Our work to understand the hedgehog pathway is a good example of this, and it has led to new insights about cancer biology. Thanks for joining me. I'm Fred de Sauvage. This has been Gene Expressions. <laughs>